Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from the Midnight Garage Show. As some of you guys probably know, I'm redoing my Honda XC and one thing I really do not like is that it does not have enough light in the front when I'm driving in the dark. So, I'm going to fix that with an LED bar. And I'm going to install that today and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. As for installation, um, you don't want your light to move up and down when you're driving around. So I usually prefer not to install it onto your bumper because it has a lot of play as you can see. I myself have installed it directly onto the chassis and therefore it's a lot more rigid. Also, I can still move it up and down so I can adjust the beam later on depending on what I like. If you drive a regular car then you're probably still going to end up installing it on your bumper but if you happen to have a 4x4 with a bull bar install it on your bull bar. Usually that's a lot more rigid. Now as for wiring with a regular car you can just route the wiring through the engine bay. I can't do that but fortunately the previous owner made these lovely holes in the car. Not sure what they were for but they're great for me so I can route the wiring through there. Now it is time to start wiring everything up. The first wire I want to wire up is the ground point. Now what I prefer is to find an original ground point to keep the least amount of ground points in the car. So what I've done is looked around and there just so happened to be an original ground point with a loose Bluetooth connector right about one feet away from the hole where everything's going inside. So I've used that. I made sure that the wires are slightly longer as I need to be so I can tuck it away later on. But that at least is the ground point taken care of. With the ground point all sorted out, it's time for me to actually wire up this LED bar. And since it's really small, it means that it doesn't draw that much power. And that makes it really easy for me to hook everything up because I don't need to work with big wires, big switches, relays, or big fuses it actually draws just as much as a regular fog light and that gave me an idea. You see this car originally had a rear fog light but I had to remove that because it was on the wrong side of the car when I imported it. Now as you can see right here there's still an old plug and this is the rear fog light plug and as you can see right here I still have an original fog light switch and fortunately for me this wiring was pretty easy it had a ground point it had a feed and an output and the only thing I had to do was connect the output of this switch to the positive lead of my LED bar and then it was all done. This actually means that the LED bar is now hooked up as stock so when I press this switch nothing happens now you think oh something went wrong no no I have to turn my lights on and now that my lights are on I can press the switch you can see the light is on and if you look at the front you can see that the LED bar actually works which is great and you can also see a whole lot of lens flare apparently now obviously I want to see what the real life capabilities are of my LED bar so I'm going to test it out right now I have blocked off my headlights professionally with some cardboard so it's kind of sleeping now and I'm going to turn on my LED bar and then we're going to see how well I can illuminate my driveway. Please tell me that you're just as impressed as I am because that was a whole lot of light coming from this very small LED bar. Now obviously you can route this directly from the battery as well if you prefer in which case it is battery, fuse, switch and then to the LED bar. And if you got like those big bulky massive LED bars on top like on a Jeep Wrangler or something it's a good idea to work with a relay as well. But other than that it should be pretty much the same as I did in this video. Now, like I said, I'm completely redoing my Axie. If you're interested in that, then hit the subscribe button and I will do some more videos about it later in the future. And yeah, usually I'm telling what I'm going to do in the next video, but next video is going to be something completely different. The people who know, please don't post it, but the people who don't know, please guess what I'm going to do because uh, I'm very curious to see what you guys have to say. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.